Yo friends, what's up? Here I am yapping at you in yet another video. If you've been living under a rock and didn't know, Swell 5 has just been released. And with the release of Swell 5, there is also a brand new site which combines the Swelt and Swellkit site. So no longer you have to go through separate sites for Swelt or Swellkit. You can find everything that you need on one beautiful site. So here is the docs, the tutorial which you can go through. Everything is right here. Of course, here is the REPL that you know and love so you can share code examples with others. And if maybe the serif font on this site isn't your cup of tea, there is actually a pull request open that's going to make the site even more accessible. There's going to be an option for a serif, sans serif font, and even a font for people with dyslexia because Svelte deeply cares about accessibility. But if you like Svelte, right, do you like money? If the answer is yes to either of those questions, there is also a new event that you can participate in, which is Svelte Hack 2024. So you can write Svelte and get paid. So this is going to last from October 19th, today is the 24th when I'm recording, until January 10th. So let me actually see how much do you have. So let's see. So basically you have 77 days, right? So two months or something. You have a really a lot of time if you want, right? So this is brought by the Open Collective. We're giving money away, right? Basically. So you have these wonderful prizes, 15 prizes. You have cash prizes for the first place. You have $3,000, you have $1,000 and etc. It goes down there. Alright, so we have three categories. We have the Wizbangery category, so you just make something awesome, right? Then you have the Rune Ritualist category, and this is that you make something awesome with runes, right? Maybe some package for NPM, JSR, right? And then you have the Migration Magician, so if you're migrating an existing Swell 4 project to Swell 5, you can actually win a prize for that. And we can actually look at the rules. So your project must use Swell 5 as its primary dependencies. You can even work on a team between one to three members. And there can only be one submission per team. Submissions must have a demonstration video or working demo included in the readme, right? And submissions also must be new, so the project can be started before October 19th. And the same for updating projects, you can't update the project after January 10th. And there is some other thing like the legal age, and you have to use GitHub or GitLab, I guess. So this license is also, I guess, really important. You have to include this license. And of course, you have to adhere to the cell community code of conduct. And here is just some information about receiving the prize and how that works, right? And also who can't enter? Svelte Society organizers, of course, Svelte ambassadors. All right, so they had to take me out of the picture because of course they know that I would win every category. Ah, huh, they're sneaky, <laughs> these Svelte people, right? And also they're family members of above orgs. So <laughs> great. All right, and here is some liability things. That's really great. You can read this if you want. But actually, let's look at something really cool. So maybe you understand these categories a bit better. Of course, there aren't any winners yet, but let's actually see. There were some really amazing projects last year. So let's see if you maybe don't understand what Wiz Bangery means in this category. So actually, the first place last year, someone made actually Wolfenstein in Svelte, right? So Wolf and Svelte. All right, so let me show you some pro gaming right here. I might have to mute this audio just in case, but let me actually just show you quickly. There we go. Got him. Alright, so let's actually go back to Svelte Hack. So yeah, you have some other awesome things like Rails Mania and etc. And then you had this best library section last year. So this is actually one of the best libraries for working with forms in Svelte. It's super forms. Really awesome. This was all from this competition, right? But of course, don't think that you have to create some amazing things like this. Just participate, have fun, and maybe you win something, right? So super forms is really an awesome library for working with forms in Svelte if you haven't checked it out. And let me actually go here to another one. Let's see, we have Radix, Svelte, and etc. So we had best ecosystem integration, Svelte Lab. So Svelte Lab is a really wonderful REPL for SvelteKit projects. You can quickly spin up SvelteKit projects and share it with the world. So we can actually go here to Svelte Lab. It's actually really something awesome to use. You can use this instead of ColdPen, right? So because the standard Svelte REPL doesn't have SvelteKit, you can just open Svelte Lab. And you can even import projects from GitHub and etc. It really works beautifully. This site is actually really cool, so we can actually even look how this works like. Look at this cool thing, this rune follows your mouse. So I'm also going to link all of these that I mentioned, and I'm going to even link this site if you want to examine how it works, right? So this is the Hex Weld Society site. You can actually see in package.json what they're using. We already seen that they use pocket base or database of and etc. They use here Neo Confetti, let's see. They use date FNS for formatting the date and etc. MD Sex for markdown. Pocket base, I already mentioned that. Oh, look at this, they're using super forms. How cool is that? And even if we can see they're using FreeJS for that thing on the front page, so that's really interesting. But yeah, basically I'm going to leave the link to this so you can explore it yourself. 
And I think that's it for this video, right? So if you like Swelt or if you like money, you can participate in Swelt Hack 2024. Alright, so I wish you the best of luck and if you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.